Alright guys, everything you're about to see in this video is from patch 3, however, some of the issues in this video weren't caused because of patch 3, some of these are just issues that have been in the game since day 1, but a lot of these issues from this video have basically, you know, come into the game because of patch 3, and we're going to be talking about that, and we're going to be breaking down each play play by play. You're going to see Supreme Rebels and Wada TW, the majority of this video, as the two players. And all of this footage is from one day of recording. So, neither one of these players are me, but they're both my boys. And they took the time out of their day, one day, to just record and, you know, just take out all the BS for me to show you guys. So, let's get into a little in-depth breakdown. As you saw right there, I mean, this has been a problem in 2k for years, dude gets blocked, acts like nothing happened, but then, the very next play, what is this? I mean, this man gets stopped from receiving an oop, yet he still gets rewarded, the ball completely teleports into his hands, and to make matters worse, he's already holding X to put up that shot, you know, to put up an oop, and the game gives it to him on that circus shot, man, that is just insane, so... I mean, you you might think, okay, well, you only see this stuff, you know, a couple times, you know, a day. You know, nothing too crazy. No, no, no. This is on an EA level. Yes, I said it, on an EA level. I mean, look at these two guys, the same exact animation, trying to reach for the ball. The little dude, of course, comes up with it. Loses the ball multiple times. I mean, you thought that it was bad. I mean, just look at how many times he's losing the ball in one possession, and he just keeps getting it back. 2k needs to tone down the assist that it gives to the team who loses the ball loose balls in this game are insane you lose the ball way too much and when you do lose the ball you get it back way too often because the reaction time for loose balls on offense is way better than the defense so with that being said let's move into this next clip as you can see we got dudes missing wide open mid ranges dudes losing the ball for no reason keep in mind he has a maxed out playmaker just more loose balls loose balls loose balls and he just keeps losing the ball i mean i can't even keep up with how many loose balls there are but just look at all the loose balls i mean this is just insane we got dudes just losing the ball uncontrollably left and right and then right here speaking of loose balls this man apparently is just a sidekick he knows exactly where the ball is going without even looking at it and he's diving on the floor yet his sidekick powers aren't enough to actually get him the loose ball he dives under the ball neither one of the players on that team end up coming up with the ball and the other team ends up coming away with the bucket anyways this game is insane now most of this loose ball bs has come arise because of patch 3 we'll get back to that in a little bit but let's check out this play right here supreme rebels dude steps back twice on the second step back his man just completely falls in the opposite direction for no reason that is the most unrealistic ankle breaker i have ever seen and to make matters worse this man Watto has two guys with their hands through the ball he gets the ball up and somehow makes a circus shot with all that arc from directly under the backboard and he makes it now in this next play as you can see it said tipped pass and as you can see, he didn't really just tip the pass, the ball morphs through his head. This is some EA stuff, man. I mean, oh, and wait, timeout. So this is another thing you're seeing after the patch. These little dudes with the 5'10", they think it's 2K15, bro. The left, right. Hit him with the left, right. Yeah, keep running back and forth. But this game, it has a lot of EA elements. We're seeing a lot of warping, a lot of sliding, a lot of BS, and a lot of morphing. I mean, this is just in. I can't even just describe how ugly this game is most of the time. I mean, this game is a mess. 2K needs to find their identity because they talk about balance, but they do not know how to balance this game whatsoever. I mean, we got dudes losing the ball right here on the check. I mean, look at this. I mean, I understand he's a big man, but what? He can't even catch the ball? Like, he, ha he can't even time his catch right you know what i mean the dude just throws it off his chest like we're like fifth graders on the playground throws it off his chest to himself throws it back to his teammate and they get a bucket like i just can't believe some of the nonsense that goes on in this game i was gonna come back to the park because of patch three because of you know the three seconds in the paint and all that stuff but nah these dudes told me first day the patch came out nah you do not want to play this this game is just insane they put you through a lot of uncontrollable BS. Like, look at this. What is he supposed to do right here? He gets the board. This man is a point guard. 
Yes, he's a 6'5 point guard, so he's a little big for a point guard, but he has maxed out playmaker. He should not be losing the ball right off a rebound. And on this next play, I mean, I can't even keep up with all the BS that's going on, guys. Look at this. This game is making him walk away from the guy on offense like a zombie. Like, he, he this is not him. He has no control over this stuff. Like, when you see him just randomly walk away from the dude with the ball like that, that's the game. He has no control over his character right here. And then this guy just misses the wide open layup, gets the ball back, puts it in. Like, this game is just wonky. Okay, right there, that's a beast-ass block, and the dude falls down. So that looks like a realistic reaction, but we all know that, that was just the dunk animation in general. He would have fell down even if he would have made the dunk. However, then they get the ball back, and they just completely botch a five-foot throw, and it just goes out of bounds. <laughs> like, it's just non-stop BS. I don't understand, like, what's going on half the time I'm watching back on these clips. We got wide-open Miss Greens right here. Alright, he releases a little late, knocks it down from the wing for three. Comes over here from the mid-range, misses a wide open mid-range with a green. I mean, I understand a patch, they don't use the um, shot tuning in patches anymore. They can just adjust the shot tuning on the fly. They need to stop with that BS too. They need to just stick with one shot percentage for every scenario for like at least a couple weeks straight. Because they change the shot percentages way too much. I mean, look at this. This man's getting deed up. He's getting locked down. One second on the shot clock. He got locked up for 23 straight seconds. And this man contested, throws it up in the non-release quick throw up shot with the shot clock cheese nonsense and knocks it down. Then this next play, we got warping, sliding, blocking fouls for no reason. I mean, he's just holding LT playing defense, trying to cut him off from baseline cheesing. He warps, slides uncontrollably into him, gets a blocking foul. And then on the next play, this man's arm is two feet above the rim. He misses the layup. I just, I don't understand this game, man. Like, I have a lot of passion for 2K. I love playing 2K. Like, I'm a big crime guy. I'm a big part guy. I'm a big one-on-one -on -one guy playing on my team. I'm everything, man. Like, and I can't even play the game. It's so unplayable right now. There's just so much uncontrollable BS in this game right now i mean look at this this man's hand is on the ball with a maxed out defense doesn't get the block and he makes the reverse layup so when blocking doesn't make sense i mean look at this okay look we got waddle right here using freaking guard dribble moves crossing over two guys throws it out like lebron james knocks it down in the corner then the next play they said they were supposed to fix this this man blocks him on the way down because the game decided to force him to go up to his left even though he was on the right side of the basket this is just this is just insane a lot of this stuff is just uncontrollable bs and 2k please tone down the five foot seven five foot ten guards what is this man and don't even get me started on the five foot seven five foot ten guards that everyone's starting to make now guys don't even bother making a five foot ten guard because as soon as the next patch comes out don't worry the five ten guards will be right back to where they were as you can see a bs goal 10 there i mean five ten guards they're not going to be able to d up six foot three guards after the next patch this whole 510 guard trend is going away real soon they're not going to be dunking on everyone and they're not going to be running around like it's 2k15 knocking down every shot the whole 510 guard wave is going to go extinct real soon and i mean it's just it's dumb that people have to deal with it for now like 2k is basically making you make a new my player every patch it's like every patch that comes out up oh, this patch nerfs inside scoring guards you can't take it into the pain anymore with your inside scoring guard you'll miss every single contact lip time to go make an outside guard oh but wait can't make an outside guard that's over six foot better make them 510 up oh, this patch dropped it makes small forwards good they don't lose the ball every time they put the ball on the floor time to go make a small forward i mean it's just insane 2k is lost they don't know how to balance the game look at him just throwing it back just in a 2v2 you know making the safe pass and he doesn't get rewarded it says good pass but yet the dude just uncontrollably gets thrown out of bounds like this game is just insane there's a lot of gameplay issues there's a lot of balancing issues that i know how to fix but i'm not sure that 2k would actually listen to what i have to say 
even though I'm very confident that I have the answers and that I could definitely balance this game out and make it very fun to the majority of the 2K community. But anyways guys, with that being said, this has been Boy Breeze, I'm signing out. Even though I'm not having too much fun with the game guys, I'm still gonna grind to put out entertaining content for you guys, whether it be tips, part gameplay, pro-am, my team, whatever. So expect more content coming very soon. It's been Boy Breeze, I'm signing out, have a nice day, peace.